All right, Melissa, just talk a little bit about uh, this run that you guys had. What, as a senior, what, when you look back, what are you going to most remember, you think? Um, to be honest, probably the regionals games. You know, we came out, we um, we won those two games. You know, we, no one expected us to win, and to me that's the most memorable thing. As far as playing at State this past weekend, what do you take away from that experience that you'll remember for a long time? Um, just remember everything, you know, the atmosphere, you know, I think most of all I remember playing with this team though, you know, I, we got here because of everyone, it wasn't anyone in particular, but as a team we made it there together and I'm just going to remember the experience with them. You know, Coach talked about this is a team that he's seen overcome more than any other team that he's seen in, in his coaching history, so is that something that, you know, kind of not just applies to sport but really applies to life for you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, life is going to throw many challenges and obstacles at you and you got to, you know, work your way to overcome it and, you know, this season really has taught a lot of life lessons and not just about basketball but really life lessons that are, each of us should take away from the season. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? Nope. We're good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, as far as uh, the run in the in the tournament, what do you look back and what do you think you'll remember most about it, you know, 10, 15 years down the road? I think I'll just, well, I'll probably remember that we went to state and I'll remember just how much fun we had, even though, you know, a lot of things happened and we've talked about that a lot of times, but I think I'll remember how much fun we had and even like all that stuff happened and I think we just got closer as a team. Like all those girls were really like my sisters, my best friends, you know, we all talked about boys and all that stuff. So I think that's what I'll remember is just our unity as a team. As far as a Saturday goes, what's, what's the most memorable thing that sticks out to you about playing a, you know, a state, for a state championship here in your hometown? I think the best thing was is no one expected us to be in the game as much as we were. And since, just to the fact that we were in overtime and we fought so hard the whole time, I think it's just what I'll remember is that we worked hard no matter what, just like all season. As far as the character of this team goes, you know, Coach mentioned it that he, you know, he'd never seen a team. And he's been around coaching a long time, but he's never seen a team kind of go through what this team has gone through and and do it so successfully. Uh, how are you guys able to do that? Uh, we just stayed positive. You know, we worked together and we didn't let anything get to us. And just Coach said, keep working hard, stay positive, it'll pay off, and we did. And that's what happened. We went to the state. So I, I don't know. Were, were you surprised? I don't know if surprise is the right word. Uh, you know, when you start out the year and have the injuries and so on, and it's been talked about so much, I've answered that thing a thousand times, it seems, but it does affect your basketball team. And I was telling them over there uh, that when I saw, I knew that Oak Hill was going to be in a regional, and I knew from a lot of people that Wallbash was a very good team. When I saw the draw and saw that we had to beat both of them to get out of there, uh, I knew it was a huge challenge for us. Did I think we could do it? Yes, but I knew we had to play probably our two best games of the year, and I don't think I don't think Vegas would have bet very much on us, truthfully. But uh, uh, we we went in there and won two very tough games, and uh, uh, then won a tough game in the, in the semi-state. And uh, I don't know. I can't say enough about these kids. That fourth quarter of the uh, of the. Uh, championship game to be down nine and get ahead three and it's just tough it's tough it's it's your heart's heavy but but you just love the kids for what they accomplished and as i said you talk about a bunch of, of fighters these kids were fighters and uh we just didn't quite get the job done and as far as you know you've been in the coaching game for a long time and you know you alluded to it up there about uh, what they've been able to accomplish you know they've really had more thrown at them than almost any team that you can ever remember and you know they really came out smelling like roses what does it say about their character and about what they were able to do you, you had to be in the locker room you had to be at practice you had to be at games uh, our seniors were great leaders but you had to know the, these kids really and truly just never believed they were beat and and as I said I, I really expected I wasn't surprised we came back in the fourth quarter. You never know what's going to happen, but that's been the attitude of these kids all year long. And as I said, I'm not sure how many schools in Indiana could have could have done what these kids did uh, with the injuries nap. So it, it was a tremendous uh, credit to them and character. Yeah, their their character. I called them, I called them bulldogs, and I called them lady bulldogs and pretty bulldogs. But that's what they are. They're just they're just tough kids that that really uh, just never gave up and kept fighting to the end. Anything else you like to add, coach? Not really. I, I've had a lot of interviews about this stuff, but I, as I said, it's it's it was fun. It was a great it was a great year, and we'll miss our seniors, and and that's that's the thing that's uh, that weighs heavily on you. But uh, we'll have other kids step up. I know next year, but we'll miss.